Well, you saw the title, you know today is gonna be an exciting day. Let's go. All right, so I'm on the road right now because I am on the way to my buddy Richie's shop, Auto R&D. The reason I'm going there because I got a message yesterday saying that my custom spec wheels finally had arrived all the way from Japan and then got stuck in the LA port for I don't even know how long and finally it landed at his shop and I'm gonna go drop off the tires that I've had for a while now if you guys recall a while back I mentioned that I had new wheels coming and those are not the ones that I have on the car right now and I guess I owe you guys an explanation to what those are about uh, you might have seen on the last couple of videos I have some hot pink wheels on the car and if you don't follow me on Instagram you probably have no clue what had happened which I never really explained it unless somebody asked me about it so those are unexpected I never intend to buy another set of wheels knowing I had already placed an order for a custom wheels from Japan but these came up a really good deal and I just couldn't pass up uh, and um, some guys just gave me a thumbs up. So I picked these up, intended to refinish it, but to my surprise, and everybody was telling me how good the hot pink wheels looks on my gray car. So it worked out really well. So I decided to just keep it pink. And especially knowing I have new wheels coming, that is not as loud, I guess. So that's the story on those hot pink wheels. And they are Rotiform NEK 3Ps and they are 19 by 10 in the front, 19 by 11 in the back. I forgot the offset. And they have really narrow tires. I believe it's like 235, 35 on the 10 inch, and then a 265 on the 11. So they're definitely stretchy looking, and they look good. So eventually, if I'm done with the tires, I'll swap out some wider tires. I might just throw them on the Model Y, and I am planning on bagging the Y now. Uh, talk to my wife, and she's totally fine with it especially when I offer the pink wheels on her car. So anyways, so today's goal is to drop off the tires. And unfortunately for me, that they are not able to mount the tires today. But fortunately for you guys, with the magic of editing, everything will be in the same video. So you'll see from start to finish. I just decided I want to do this video in a vlogging style uh, just to document the whole process because this is my first time owning new wheels and I'm really excited and I can introduce you guys to my buddy Richie and his shop Auto R&D. Before I see him, I'll just tell you guys right now because I don't want to say this in front of him and get him all big headed and everything but Richie is a longtime friend and he's known to be really really knowledgeable in terms of wheel fitment and alignment specs so he's like the human version of willitfit.com or better so uh, he helped me spec the wheels and suggested that I will get an alignment after these set of wheels to maintain a flush fitment on my square setup so yeah Richie is the man and when it comes to basically anything about cars but especially especially suspension alignment and wheel spec so I'm gonna close out from here I'm gonna continue driving I'll show you guys when I get to the shop and introduce you to Richie so yeah I think you're gonna like your new wheels a lot yeah man. watch out I, Tim I broke my finger oh shit I actually cut it off wow Crazy. working on cars spring compressor oh, oh. be careful on a spring compressor <laughs> hey guys so I'm here now at Auto R&D. This is Richie, the man that I was just talking about off camera. You know? <laughs> and this is OMG Tesla Tim. And he's got a bagged uh, Model 3 as well. And he tracks it, so. It's not here though. Yep. Mine and is inside. We just put new brakes on it. Nice. It stops as hard as it accelerates now. Yep. So I'm just going to unload the tires and uh, take a look at the wheels and give it a big hug. <laughs> we never them. <laughs> so these are Falcon FK510 265 because my my new wheel is gonna be 10 inch wide. Wheel 
caps just these are like 200 bucks I think at this point I haven't showed the wheels yet I barely had a peek at it I'll give you that much I don't know if you can read the label but oh here they are I might blur this out just uh, to keep you guys waiting until I get it mounted how about I just keep it closed <laughs> sneak peek there, there, there's the uh, blur. There's your blur. <laughs> yep. Organic blur. Uh, they're not bad. I'm probably gonna miss these, but man, look at that. First set of custom wheels. The lip is a lot bigger than, bigger than I expected, but I'm not complaining. That lip definitely makes the lip look bigger. Nice. All right, last look before I drop them off and have them mounted. And Richie said he is going to just drop them off once they're mounted. So uh, pretty good service. So the next time I see these, the tires should be all mounted and I should be able to just throw them on the car. You guys will see it in a couple seconds. I will have to wait a couple days to see it. So several days later. So the tires and wheels are mounted and I just finished mounting it on the car and I'm exhausted. I didn't even get a chance to change. But anyways, here behind me is the car with the new wheels. I hope you guys like it. I already have friends telling me the pink wheels looks better. But what can I say? These are iconic JDM wheels that were my favorite, my all-time favorite wheels since high school. I could never afford them. Not that I can't afford it now, but I did it anyways. So here you have it, Workmeister S1R. Two piece, I chose two piece because they are cheaper and the fact that I personally like the clean look of the two piece wheels without all the hardwares. I know my wife definitely agrees. And I do have the roller form in three piece. So if I ever want a set of three piece wheels, I can always go back. For now, I think the pink wheels are gonna be just sitting until hopefully one day if I bag the Y, then I will throw the pink wheels on my wife's Model Y. I think it'll look great and she'll love the pink. This is a squared setup. I have not done my alignment to pair with these wheel setup. So uh, until then, the wheel fitment may seem a little tuck, especially the back but that should be fixed uh, hopefully soon. So anyways, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about these new wheels. I know some of you guys probably don't like it, but hey, you can't go wrong with Workmeisters. They're not as iconic as TE37, but, but it's still an iconic JDM wheel, so they basically look good on any car. So anyways, thanks for watching. And if you want to see some photos, I will be taking a bunch of photos after this video shoot. 
Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at P E E K A Y Studio, PK Studio. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.